Okay, okay. What if we could choose a dimension? If we would be using Experiment 42 again, and we could choose anything we want, where would you go? I would want to go to a laser game area with real obstacles. You know when they have dinosaur duplicates and spaceships? If that were all real, that would be really cool. <laughs> well, that would be the most awesome laser gameplay ever. <gasps> Let's go laser gaming! <laughs> totally! Just the two of us? If you want. <laughs> Bubbles, come on! Play with us, silly! Annabella! Annabella? Was that the name again? <laughs> what name? How does Bubbles know any names at all? Yeah, I think he's been looking for this Annabella chick. Oh, sorry. Isn't that just adorable? If you're just gonna sit here being lonely, I'm not gonna wait for you. Come on, Lydia, let's have some fun. <laughs> right behind you, sister. <laughs> Bubbles? Well, I'll be off then. If anybody cares. <laughs> what? Hmm. Alright. When did I ever get the credit? Well, we're gonna have to use you anyway. We need to figure out this Alice thing. Why am I talking to you? Well, there's that stage in a scientist's life. If we're gonna use you again, we're gonna do it right. No more fun games. 42, I don't know what you can do, but if you understand me, Please take us to either Alice, the guy from Halloween, to Trotty, or Nina. Those are the names we need to figure out. Kate's got Noah. Olivia's got Perry. Who do I have? I think it's my time to have some fun. Maybe Noah did it. After all, you were talking about a laser game dimension. I didn't activate it. Kate and I were on our way to laser gaming. 
Yeah, and didn't you two learn anything about, you know, last time? Or is this about Alice? Lenny? Who the heck is Alice? Anyway, I didn't do it. Perry, I know you couldn't resist. It wasn't me, I swear. Guys, stop fighting. It was me. <laughs> You're joking, right? You wouldn't activate 42. You're always the one who doesn't want us to activate it. Yeah, why would you want to do anything exciting at all? Because the dimensions are leaking. What? You may not have noticed, but Kate told me about Alice. It's a name that has been popping up everywhere, again and again, which is impossible. Something is not right, very not right. Wait, did we break 42? Is this our fault? Oh my dog, we've been traveling dimensions over and over again and we didn't even think of the consequences. Are the universes collapsing? Wait, no, it can't be us. What about Alice and the guy from Halloween? They're the ones causing it, I think. Kid's right. It's not our fault. In fact, we need to keep traveling dimensions to find out what is going on. We might be able to fix it. Okay, so where do we go now? We're in a forest. Do we look for clues? Wait, what is this Alice thing? Creatures in other dimensions have been calling me Alice. Also, there was the guy from Halloween, the Kali who deactivated 42. That's what we need to figure out. Who are they and what are they trying to do? Well, we're in a forest. I say we... No, you don't say. Excuse me? You, Lydia and Kate, you're always the leaders. You just kind of take all the credit on why. You activate 42 because you are an adventure. Then you lead the group. Um, well, yeah. You have all been using my experiment against my will. And what did I ever get in return? You always take the credit and I'm just left behind. I'm just supposed to come with you and watch while you do everything. You've been using me for your entertainment. You want attention and you want to be nice. We have been in five dimensions now. And every time against my will. Did you forget I created 42? You have no idea how much you need me. Or how much you need 42? What if I just take it and leave, huh? I created something that can take us to other dimensions and back. I think I'm smart enough to be the leader of the group. I created 42, but somehow I'm the bad guy. I'm the one trying to protect all of us. But you don't care. You're just addicted to the adventures. You're addicted to the excitement. You've been treating me like a robot, and it's time I take some credit. I'm sorry if I offended anyone, but it just had to be said. Alright, well, I gotta say, that was brave. I just, I thought you were a pushover, that's all. Well, I'm on your team, Lenny. Guys. What? Do you hear that? I don't hear anything. Exactly. The birds. They've stopped singing. Why would they do that? Shh, Perry, quiet. Why? Shh. Everybody, stay absolutely silent and don't move a muscle.
There it goes. Hmm. I've never seen a Cremain crackle before. Of course I heard stories, but you know, it's different to see them with your own eyes, isn't it? I heard they were related to the Ocarina Iron Belly. <laughs> anyway, where are my manners? Hi, I'm Phoenix. Call me Nina. You're new here, aren't you? Is it that obvious? Was that a dragon? <laughs> yep, you are definitely new here. Here. Oh, thanks. Must have dropped it. What are you all doing here? Um, we're travelers. We, uh, travel. Wow. Right. So, why did you go to this place? People have died trying to get out of here for months. And you just walk right in? You do realize you were almost killed, by the way, right? And you saved us. And we want to thank you for that. So much! Yeah! Thank you so thank much! You. So, still, what brought you here? Did you just create a tiny sign? And what are those wings for? Hmm, how about this? I tell you my secret, you tell me your secret. I'll tell you about my wings and my powers if you tell me how you got here. Without a single scratch. Um, could you lower the wings, please? They're a bit distracting. No, they're not. They make you look like an angel. <laughs> Thank you. Well, of course, here you go. They're fake? <laughs> of course they are. When's the last time you saw a cat with the wings? Well, you know, anything can happen these days. Hmm. I am getting more and more curious about you. Anyway, I'm Phoenix, but you can call me Nina if you like. But what does Phoenix and Nina have in common? Me. When I was just a kitten, I was about to die. It was the time of the phoenixes. Phoenixes? Well, I was really sick and everybody kind of gave up on me. I was at the edge of death when a phoenix came inside. It flew through the open window and landed beside me. Phoenixes are the greatest creatures who have ever lived here. They're smarter, wiser, and caring. The phoenix had watched me for a few days, and I guess it was sad I was about to die. So I did the most incredible thing it could have done. It dropped a tear on my head. Phoenix tears are magical, very magical, and extremely rare. The tear, it gave me life. The phoenix saved my life that day, but it wasn't without side effects. So, what about your name? Well, after all this happened, my parents called me Phoenix. But my original name was supposed to be Nina. The people in my village didn't like to call me Phoenix. They thought everyone should be equal and I didn't deserve to be, well, special. So they called me Nina instead. Phoenix is a cool name, but Nina is more like, well, me. Who are the wings? Do they represent Phoenix? Oh, no. I use my wings and phoenix power to distract dragons. See, it's a long story and I can tell you later, but basically, there are dragons everywhere. And I'm trying to train them. So the wings and little suns confuse them. It kind of shows them I'm one of them. I've got wings, I can make fire. It often works, but this one might have been a little bit aggressive. But you know, some are easy to train and some are just stubborn. You train dragons? I try to. But enough of me. I want to hear about you. Um, well, I'm Lenny. I'm Lydia. That's Perry, Noah, and Kate. Oh, and there's Bubbles, our pet, but he just ran off. Of course, well, don't worry. He'll come back. Guys, do we tell? Well, we've never told anyone. We didn't lie, but they just didn't ask. I think it's time we tell someone. We've been saving tons of dimensions and just got away with the things. I think it's time to finally take some credit for what we do. Well, here it goes. We're dimension travelers. 
Lenny here created an experiment called 42. And it takes us to other dimensions and back. Yup, that's how we got here. You don't have to believe us if you don't want to. You travel dimensions. Yup, all the time. <sighs> and I thought my life was exciting. You mean you're not from here, are you? No. Not even close. Wow. But how did you... How did you manage to... Well... It was by mistake, actually. 42 was supposed to be a teleporter, but, well, something went wrong. Really wrong. And now we can travel dimensions! Dimensions? You've got to tell me everything. I believe you. At least, I want to. Is there anything we could fix around here? Well, not much you could do, I guess. It's pretty much impossible. What, what is? We can't do anything! We want to help. It's been chaos around here ever since the dragons came. Now, you can't do anything about the dragons. But you can do something, maybe. Just the people. <sighs> they treat them wrong, and... That's what causes all the problems. But it's not their fault. They're just defending themselves. For example, the Crimean Crackle just now. It's suspected you were dangerous, so... Well, it went for the attack. But most of the dragons are not like this, I swear. We believe you. What do you do? I train them. Well, not entirely train, but I make them trust me. And from the moment they trust you, they are amazing creatures. They would never try to hurt you or let you get hurt. But the people don't understand. They don't want to make peace with the dragons, they just want to protect themselves. And they think the only way of doing this is to kill the dragons. I keep trying to convince them, but they never listen to me. This village thinks I'm crazy, just like the other villages. The other villages? Well, I wasn't born here. It was in another place, but the people there kind of banished me. There were three other villages before this one, and they've all sent me away. They don't see me as one of them because of the phoenix thing. And they think that's why I like dragons. We'll listen to you. We're on your side. Even if that side includes the dragons? Ah, uh, we can't handle dragons. Kate has done it before. What? No, that was different. Oh no. What? They're here. People from the village. Why? Well, I'm guessing they've come to rescue you from me. Get away from that! Why? Get away from that creature now, she's dangerous! Oh no, not again. Dangerous? What? You fools! You've got to come with us! Dragons are everywhere! It's okay, Nina can protect us. Oh, here we go. Look, that thing over there will only bring you death. It convinced you we're the bad guys. But we're not, she is. No. Kids, you've got to come with us. We'll bring you to the town and you'll be safe. At least, safer than you'll be around her.